I call this meeting of the Ohio County Fiscal Court uh, to order. It is 5 p.m. on February the 13th, 2018. I want to ask uh, Justin Cam to uh, lead us in a prayer and a pledge to the flag. Let us pray. Lord, uh, thank you for the many blessings that you've blessed us with today and, and that your presence is with us now. Uh, fill us with grace, Lord. And Lord, we also ask that uh, uh, you give us guidance and strength in all the decisions that are made. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Justice. Uh, before you, you have the minutes of the January 23rd meeting. How did you uh, get an agenda? And I would... Uh, Thank you, Miss. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes. M motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Sam Small. Is there any corrections, <laughs> additions, or discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Uh, Pose like sign. Motion carries. Before you, you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers. So moved. Motion by Larry Cam. Second. Second by Sam Small. Are there any discussion? Any discussion? Big now roll call. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. You have the treasurer's uh, January uh, 18 financial statement. We, we just need to acknowledge that we got it. Motion for Sam Small? Second. Second for Joe Barnes? Where's our treasurer at? I don't see her. Is there any discussion? She don't hear about me. <laughs> I heard that. Being none, all in favor say aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. You have, uh, Bess is not here, but she did turn in her uh, report. I've got it right over here. Move to acknowledge. Okay. Motion by, uh, who made the motion? Cam. Cam. Second, Jason Bullock. Uh, uh, just for point of interest, Sam's supposed to be the first one that votes, just so we don't get it out of line. Okay. According she, to the last she, minute. Okay. She told me Cam, but I'll just oh, say okay. I'll be Sam. That was last meeting, wasn't it? But this is first last okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Pose like sign. Mr. Carries. She'll pick a copy of this back up, and she'll also get a, a, a copy going to Manage. We'll put one in the minutes. Um, okay, we talked about uh, this first reading. Okay, first reading a budget ordinance to two thousand. They haven't got their copy. No. no. Three. Pass him down that way. Pass his own down with Justin. Give that to Justin. Jason, we're going with this. The Kentucky ASAP program asked us to be their fiscal agent. It's a grant they got to the state. So it's just more running to run through us. Before you have this budget amendment, I'm waiting for a motion to to approve the first reading. That so, means there will be a so second moved. reading. So Motion by Larry Cam. Second. Second by Jason so Bull. Yes. Any any discussion? The bridges and everything. That's all going to reserve. It's going to reserve. Okay. And that'll help pay the um, balloon so note that we have that's doing two or so the page yet. Uh any more discussion? Is there just one page? Yeah. Yes. It says page, page one of two. One of two. Well, the second page is just a signature page. Okay. 
Good deal. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Uh, ordinance 2018-2, budget amendment. First reading is approved. Uh, next, we have on the agenda, Braun Lane Extension. I want to appoint a committee to go look at that. Uh, of course, it'll be Keith. And, uh, Dan? No. <laughs> i got to get three. <laughs> Keith and Marty, will you do that for us? It's not too far. Marty Tishner. Okay. And, um, let me see, you need one more. Okay, Chase Vincent. It'll take you about 30 minutes, it's not very far. Where's that at, Dave? Ron Lane is Hall, off. Uh, Hall Creek, Old Hall Creek. Old Hall's Creek. Hmm. It's in my district. You're welcome to go with them that day if you haven't seen it, Larry. Uh, next, this is Justin. You're up. Well, you got to tell us about Lex and Lane. There's a dire need. I'll remind, bring you up to speed. There's a dire need to go up it and fix a problem to keep it from being a really big problem on uh, Hidden Valley Lane. Hidden Valley Lane has got a serious water problem, and the only way we can fix it is go up Lexington to do so, and we do have permission to do it. It's not a county road. Then. It's not a county road. Oh, okay. But we got to get off of it to fix the Hidden Valley. Yeah, we've looked into it. I talked to Gerald. Same as this in your district or Joe's? This is my district. Yeah. <clears throat> I think uh, after discussion with Sam, the uh, all the residents of this subdivision are asking that it be placed in inside the county uh, road system. Yeah, due to the issues that the judge you discussed, we looked at it. Uh, I think Keith has already filed a report and that the other individuals that are about this role are agreeable, agreeable to this. So, uh, Sam, it's your uh, district. Do you mind making that motion we to a motion to take Lexington Lane? Uh, do y'all remember the Lane property? Oh, it's not very far. No. You've already had it, you know what you mean? Yeah. 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 Just yeah. 300 feet long. Yeah. So, that means anybody right, but uh, to take Lexington Lane into the county do I hear a second? For discussion, yes. Second by Larry Cam. Discussion. Uh, how many uh, dwellings is on particular 300 feet that you question? I'm thinking four. Four? Okay. That meets our criteria, so. Yeah. There's three in a cluster, then one back this way. There's three like in a V at the end of it. Okay. It's just 300 foot, Larry. Mm -hmm. It's just 300 foot. Did you get it? Yeah. You and committee report and everything? Yes, we've had that for quite oh, yeah. a while. It's some time ago. Yeah. Okay, there's, there's, is a, uh, you get a second on that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, just go ahead and roll call it. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Cowan? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Motion carries. <laughs> By the way, thank you, gentlemen. It does cause a, a safety hazard there on Hidden Valley, so I do appreciate you all's vote. Um, I think, I, I truly believe that we've done this before, but let's do it again because Chase don't have a copy of it. Where you at, Chase? Right there. Uh, we need a resolution here. It's a real short thing uh, that uh, for, for that grant we got for trails already. The $65,000 we've already got basically authorized me to sign the documents. Uh, and this is, uh, I need a motion to, and a second to uh, approve this little sh very short resolution. Yeah, we you all did uh, one last year to uh, allow us to apply for the grant. And this is just sort of a housekeeping thing that they need uh, from the federal level to authorize David to just sign the executing documents. It's it's a grant, Chase. Yeah, yeah. we've already we've already got yeah, it. Yeah. done all the. How much was work. it for? Sixty-five thousand. 
and I think you all committed 12 uh, to it. This is the six access points. I'll make a motion. We expect motion with Sam Small. Second. Second with Joe Barnes. Any further discussion? Being none. Roll call it. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnston. Yes. Cow. Yes. Morphew. Yes. And if I can, uh, real quick, while I've got your attention, uh, I'm going to switch hats real quick and take off my seat hat and put on my chamber hat. I serve as the treasurer of the Chamber of Commerce, and uh, last month in January, several of us board members were a little startled to to read in the news that the the chamber had uh, refused to pay a cleaning fee at the uh, senior center for our Christmas gala, and uh, that was a, that was a misunderstanding. On, uh, on our assistance part and, and at the senior center. I believe what was reported to me was they was simply asked what cleaning fee because we had not, uh, we'd never paid a cleaning fee. We've used the senior center for the Christmas game many times and they never paid a cleaning fee in the past and there wasn't any information given back to us so it didn't get paid. But I'm just here on behalf of the Chamber of Commerce to present a check to you all for that cleaning fee. We're happy to pay it. Um, you know, we were just requesting some more information because it, you know, it had never happened before. But it was certainly not a refusal to pay. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate that. You have to do that. Sorry. Okay. All right. Good deal. Good deal. Thank you, Chase. That's all I got. Joe, you're up on this. You got this on this maintenance. Uh, that's what this is on the agenda. No, this is a 20, 2018 17. No, that's what we just did. The the new, there's another no, we did. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. You're right. Well, Justin can explain it, but we need a uh, uh, a resolution to uh, allow me to sign the uh, signature page on a uh, ordinance that we passed in 2013. The ordinance is valid. It was passed by this court, two readings. Somehow the signature page got lost, and I need to re-sign it. So it's the road weight limit. Ordinance. I'd have to uh, disagree with the. Uh, it wasn't passed by this court. No. Nope. Before I was on. Let me. Uh, can court. I see a copy of it, Judge? And I haven't seen a copy of it. Yeah, it was the last court we did that. Up here. It's it it's it, it, it's a uh, whatever the weight limit is if they exceed it they pay a ten dollar fee the road supervisor and them at, in pre-inspect it and post inspect it if they did any damage they fix it uh, in the entire time this has been in effect we've cited two people uh, one of them was Larry Cowns district and we had to make him force him to pay it and the second one was uh, um, Mr. Bays down in the third district and he called Mickey Bays, he called his own and fixed it and reported that he fixed it. But now if it's if you've been able to do that, David, then I don't understand why we need to do this do this resolution. Some it's already of, in effect. We have have had some problems on the enforcement of it by with the sheriff's department. He wanted to sign copy of the ordinance. Because I I recall uh Keith that uh you know we were talking about that before on a particular road and uh but I know that we had already forced one individual to have to make the repairs on uh, Bud Bond Road. And uh, you wasn't here at the time, but we did. And I thought it was still in effect. And I was, after talking to Keith, I was unaware that it wasn't in force. So. There is a weight limit through the KRS 189.210, the maximum weight permit on highways. And it's talking about the city, it's 15 ton weight limit, less than near the judge one changes it yeah i thought we had I, I thought the only thing we'd addressed were were they uh, any individual that was going to utilize the road came down and made a deposit and <clears throat> the road the road foreman along with the magistrate goes out and looks at the road makes a uh, I and list yeah. the, and and you list the damages then it's already there so you don't right. bill them and, and then, then any new damages they pay for it's right. worked out really well but yeah, we just need to 2011. I mean it was the last quarter it was, yeah. it was like, 2011 and I'd remember 12 but I guess it was last there was committee yeah the broad committee and uh, 
Mr. Henry Crist up to, up to uh, yeah, we had Floresville kind of took over. The yeah. Running. We had, yeah, we had a meeting out at the park, if you recall. Yes. I didn't realize it had been that many years. <laughs> so I need a motion. Is this the original, what y'all said, or is this a new ordinance? That, that's a resolution that's allowing just, me to sign the original. Yeah, that's the original? just the resolution, Joe. Where's the original? It is filed at the uh, clerk's office. It, I have it at the office, but I didn't. I mean, I just brought the resolution. I don't know. Let me. Let me. Let me but did we give uh, it they sent me the original, what would be the original without signature mm -hmm. of the ordinance that was passed in 2011. I think there was an individual that was questioning whether the judge's signature had to be on it. And okay. when we researched the case law, the fact that the judge may have failed to sign it or we couldn't find the signature page or what have you does not make an action of this fiscal court invalid. In a sense, the court acted and said, we want to pass this ordinance. The fact that the judge may have either not signed it or there may have been a signature page that was, you know, missing or lost. does not make the court's action invalid. The only thing I'd like to do is I'd like to look at the original because since it's going through this court and I'm on this court. Let me, uh, I, let me so see like that, Joe. When you the next meeting, but and let me pass that back down to me. Is, is you this, see what I mean? Is, oh, that's, up, that's up to you guys. I mean, is, whatever you guys want to do. Is, is this just like the original? All that's saying is the judge is going to sign it. It's not making a modification of the original. Oh, act the okay. No, there are no changes on the original. Oh, okay. No changes on the original. I don't have no problem. you make a motion? Sure. Motion will already count. Yeah. Hang on to that. This, this, just, this just gives the judge the original. He, he, just signs, he just signs the original. So if somebody picks up the uh, ordinance, they can authenticate yeah. it with the judge's yeah. signature. Yeah. I have a motion by Larry County, need second. I was on the original court. I'll, I'll so. second. I'll second by Jason Bullock. Are you on the court, Jason? Yeah. 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 Okay. The only thing I'd say, since I wasn't on the court, and I'm actually going to be voting on this, on something I haven't seen the original on, I would rather table it till the next one. If not, I'll be voting no because I haven't seen the original. Okay. okay. Roll call. Small. Sam? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? No. Johnston? Yes. Town? Yes. Morphine? I'm going to vote no because I'd like to see it too before I vote on it. Uh, that's 4-2. Uh, uh, motion carries. We'll sign well, this. What, well, it guys, what you have to understand, we're not voting on the ordinance itself. We're just voting on the you ordinance that's already been passed. You'll that the judge is just going to sign it. Failure to sign or whatever the reason. So. <coughs> it, it doesn't change the ordinance whatsoever. Yeah, email that to us. Yeah, just so we can see it. Uh, yes, I think the ordinance was emailed me some time ago when I can forward it to you guys. Yeah, if you don't care. Thank you. Okay. Um, if you don't have it by Friday, give me a text, Sam. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Now then, Joe, back to your uh, maintenance. Uh, Are we going to do that now? That yes. Are, are we going to interview? Is this uh, maintenance? No, no, no. This is a. This is at maintenance levels that was set by the by the wage subsidy committee. Yeah. And then we thought it was passed at, through at here, but it's not in the minutes. At the park. Joe okay. said he made the motion that passed, but we can't find the record of it. I'll flip it. Here it is. Yeah, David was explaining this, but it was several meetings ago. Maybe maybe as much as four or five. The wage committee made a uh, motion, and I, I'm pretty sure that if we if we dug deep enough, we would find some record that we did vote on it and and pass it. But there were some confusions on several motions that was made that night, so to clear it up, we're going to make a motion again. Okay. I'll make a motion to add a classification of maintenance two to the Ohio County Physical Court 2017-2018 wage scale. Effective November the 15th, 2017, wages are to be set as higher rate, $12 an hour, level one, $12.50, and level two, $13. Why would that be? Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the original motion. It is. So it is. It should have been. It should have been in that. Well, I'll second it. Dave. I'll second it because it any. But we don't have to back date. I mean, let's just put it to date date. This was just because what we didn't build right. Any increase has to come from the department's budget, so if you would, okay. yeah. I'll second it. But how can you get this? You know, this is February 13th. Yours says 
November 15th. Uh, this was not his was his original one. Okay. It's, it's kind of irrelevant in a way because the, 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 tonight will be the first time it's used in these trash changes over here. Go into effect. Yeah, this was set up a while back. But then but I do remember it. I don't remember it. I was in a wait for a meeting. Okay. The only thing I hadn't done is go back and listen to actual meetings. And I'm checking the very more for you. Pretty sure if I did that, we voted on it. But That's go, go, ahead, go ahead and roll call. Leave that in November. I don't matter. Well. The court. Huh? It yeah, really doesn't court. matter. Oh. If you want to make it November, that's fine. I mean, that's, that's when it was done. It's not going to affect anyway. No, affect let's just go ahead and make it November since that's what it recently was. Oh. When it was done. Okay, let's do it that way. So, uh, go ahead and roll call it. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnston. Yes. Pound. Yes. Morpheus. Yes. Uh, on the agenda, it says maintenance personnel, so I'm going to follow on through with it here. That was the main thing to do. And with that said, and, and who this was in mind for when it was done, I have two status changes tonight. Uh, one of them is uh, raising is Mike Burgess uh, with a pay rate of eleven twenty three an hour to raise to twelve fifty. Which, if you notice on that scale you just looked at, is the mid middle grade there. So, with that said. Uh, I need a roll call on that. No, you don't need a second on a, on a personal thing. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Town? Yes. Morphe? Yes. Okay. Next, same department, we have Jason Earl. Maintenance from 11 uh, 23 to 12, which is the very bottom of, the, of, of it. So he, he comes up to put him into what this motion that just made had to do, had to put him to that. So, uh, so Jason Earl, uh, twelve dollars an hour, and these are effective two eighteen by the way. <coughs> so go ahead and roll call that. Small, yes. Bullock, yes. Barnes, yes. Johnston, yes. Pound, yes. Morfield, yes. There you go. Okay, have one more personnel issue. Uh, we're we're going to put somebody in the courthouse over there, a cleaning position that used to be 22, uh, 22 hours a week, but now it'll only be 15 hours a week. Uh, but it's been vacant for a while. And uh, Bess, Ralph, and uh, was it the sheriff or was it Jason? It's, it's sheriff. Both yeah, sheriff and Jason, all that's in that courthouse over there. They, they looked at her applications, which wasn't very many, and they want Robert Hillerich. This will be part-time courthouse maintenance at $10 an hour, uh, effective uh, 211. What was the last name? Hillerich. He's in your district, Hillerich. He's a, he lives in Beaver Down, about two doors down from OC Cafe. Back down Taylor Mine. Oh. Two doors down from OC Cafe. Uh, so just go ahead and roll call that. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnston. Yes. Pound. Yes. Morfield. Yes. <coughs> and moving on. He's pretty good maintenance man. Yes. You know him? Yeah, I know Okay. Um, yeah, he will do, he won't just do clean and he'll do the light bulbs and the Filters and all that over there. Do pretty good maintenance. Yep, good. Um, the um, I'm going to go into closed session here. Just a second, since I get my sections. Because Larry Morphy just brought up one other thing he wants to mention in there, so I've got to put one of them is uh, no, they both would be possible litigation, which is. Uh, you can say possible litigation. Be fine. Okay. Be fine. Go, uh, we need a motion to go into closed session to so discuss motion. possible litigation. Motion by Larry Morphew. Second. Second, Second by Larry Cam. Let's go. All in favor. I'm going to make it Larry go second. One of you, one of Larry's going to second. <laughs>
<laughs> this is going to be quite a lengthy motion, Ann, so you listen close. You got to get, you'll get on the recorder good. I'll talk slow. I move, we go back in. Second. Everybody, everybody, uh, for it, come on here. Sit down. Uh oh, we lost our lawyer. Who's that? And I will tell the audience there was no business transacted in there. Uh, the only two things, that, uh, only, we talked about two items that could have possibly been lit litigation. And, uh, but from that discussion, I'm making a quite lengthy motion. Talk slow so I can get it down. Okay, I move to pay the remaining bills for the Rosine Museum in the amount of $17,642.98 from LGEA uh, and that this is because it went over bed budget this much and this also is to take exception to a previous motion that was made to limit to 300000 this one exception only and that this is the final payment on the museum. What about the LGBA reserves yes. transferred to the yes. museum account? Yes. Or however you got to do it to get the bill paid. Okay. And authorize uh, treasurer to write these four checks. Did that get it all, Larry? Would you second it? Yeah, we'll for discussion. This so. second by Larry Camp. Uh, you don't understand overrides and Anybody that's been around any type of construction understands that. Of course, it was my my point when we started on this endeavor that we just we uh, make sure that we stayed under the, in the three hundred thousand dollar range. These are bills that have been some of them, a, a few of them unanticipated, but uh, but I will support it tonight. But uh, uh, it's just that when we have three hundred thousand dollars set aside, I expect the uh, people that's in charge to honor that and we won't be paying seventeen thousand more dollars that's all judge that's the reason i wanted a lock and key yes and that was the very reason on hindsight on hindsight larry you was absolutely right go ahead and roll call it small yes bullock yes barnes yes johnston yes Count. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Thank you, gentlemen. I really do appreciate this. That was a yes on paying the bills because we have to pay them, but I'm not happy at all about the city coming down. Well, I'll tell you what. Because I wanted the lock and key too. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not I'm, to the end. For the record, I'm not either. I didn't, none of us are. Well, and some of it, like the septic system, we couldn't help. We didn't know we needed that, and that, that came in and it had to be yeah. done. So there's, there's okay. $3,500. Let's, let's move on to committee reports. Larry, you're called the chairman of, the, of it. Uh, we had a couple motions to make from the uh, road committee meeting. Uh, well, we discussed... A, a truck and, and, uh, oh. and hiring uh, people at the road department. Not their names, but just the fact that we're going to... Uh, you mean an interview, an interview. An motion to interview three individuals, four individuals, how many? Three and three, wasn't it? Six. 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 Yeah. I, make, uh, I move that uh, six different individuals be interviewed for the position of operator and mechanic. Is that what so you needed? I don't even know if we need to do a motion on that. No. Well, I, that's what I say. I don't. I don't well, we want it in a minute, except we did yeah. it. But, okay. But yeah, we are looking into the ongoing about the mechanic and op we've got two operator positions that we could fill mm -hmm. and uh we talked about that today in the community meeting okay and then the oil distributor yeah i want to move that we uh keith i don't know who your personnel went with you to look at the oil distributor up at frankfurt but uh keith has come back with a recommendation and we use we're going to use utilize this uh other distributor do a fog code after we chip and seal, uh, chip and seal, especially on the blacktop. So I'll entertain a motion that the purchase of the truck is ten thousand. So I'll entertain that motion to purchase that and, and authorize uh, and write a check for it. So, so, uh, motion by Larry Count, second by Larry Morphew. Any further discussion? 
Bing, then go ahead and roll call that. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnston. Yes. Count. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Uh, is there any other committee reports? Do you, you have the snow plow on that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was on the pot, the snow plow was on the pot. Uh, do you, do you, uh, um, uh, committee, I'll just tell you that the animal control ordinance committee, yes, we met last Wednesday, uh, we just got <coughs> thoughts together, paperwork, and if anybody's interested, uh, we are meeting, uh, next well, Wednesday, February 21st at 3.30 in the old courtroom. So. I noticed we were, uh, if I don't over budget on a lot of the items that several items in that several yeah. items will it be back we're looking at some of the fees fees and stuff like that how do we work it okay and and uh yeah there was a whole lot of discussion and of course uh dr st Clair was on there with you kenny Altry. who else did we have with you on that well there was myself and renetta and kenny Autry and Dr. St. Clair. Jeanette Lacey. Jeanette Lacey, yes. And, uh, and, and St. Clair. And Dr. St. Clair, yes. Yeah. Jason, you may explain why we're running so over budget on practically every item in, in the, at the Animal Control Center. Well, that's what we're looking into these last two okay. weeks. We were, we're gonna, hopefully we'll have more answers for you um, after Wednesday's meeting. Okay. But vet bills is it. But no, Wednesday. What type of vet bills and why and all that? Everybody's looking to, but they're mostly vet bills. Did you get this? Yeah. Uh, any other committee reports? Finance committee met, and it was over those issues. Yes. And uh, next meeting, we will be making a motion to uh, transfer some funds. To did, did everybody get the copy of his what the finance committee gave, so you can look over it by the next meeting? I'll send it in. And we're going to we're going to transfer funds within those departments to make it work. Yeah. I'm not pulling out of reserves at this time. Right. They found that, uh, which I commend you on that, that you were able to look at the budgets uh, and the expenditures of the departments that had the shortages and hopefully have found it within those departments. Well, and most of the departments have been in utilities, is what's been in the departments. Yeah. You look at it. Yeah. <laughs> and except the animal shelter. Except the animal shelter. Yeah. 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 Um, Okay, let's go ahead and go to the magistrate's comments and requests. Let's start with Sam. Uh, yes, Judge. I uh, want to make everybody aware, it's here and on the radio, that to have patience with us, uh, almost every road I was on today has an issue of some sort. We are hitting the uh, safety hazards first. So if your road you don't see us on it tomorrow or soon, then it's because we've got something that is a safety hazard. Uh, we are addressing the road issues. Uh, yes, this winter has been rough on them. Uh, but so everybody know our crew and everybody we've got are working diligently on taking care of them. And I would just like to ask for your patience. Other than that, uh, hope everybody has a safe and happy Valentine's Day. Um, Jason. Yeah, I've got something. I will say that in all the years I've been on court, probably not as long as Larry has been, this has probably been the worst winter when it comes to the potholes popping up on the, the freeze we had, and it's, it's, it is bad. Um, but no, uh, you, you took in a, uh, you, put a, you pointed a road committee earlier, and I have an extension. I picked up the papers to get the easement paperwork for. It's Horton Spur. It's roughly going to be about 500 feet to gravel road. Um, can we just go ahead and use the same committee to look at uh, the very end of Horton Spur? It's roughly 500 feet. It goes back to the, there's a gate back there. It's where we would stop. Uh, <coughs> if we'll go ahead and do that, I'm going to go ahead and get the paperwork started. Okay. So, Keith, well you, you got the committee in the truck. Just keep driving. Go get that. I just thought since we already did the committee, let's go ahead and our appointment. Let's go ahead and do this one. And I'll work on the paperwork. I don't think it's going to be a problem if I'll agree to it. And uh, hopefully I'll have it back in the next court meeting. On our roads, what a lot of people don't understand is we have close to 700 miles of road. Yeah. That's yeah. It. And just, that, yeah, county. And while we're on that note, uh, and I have to give credit to the court, but we, it, and we had, we've had a winter, as Sam and Jason has alluded to, uh, but 
we we I think we're prepared for it. We've got thanks to you guys that went and got another pothole patcher, but we've got two pothole patchers. We bought a new chip and seal machine. We got a spreader box that's used strictly for spreading chip into small areas, and uh, so I, I think I think we as prepared as we can be. We can't control the weather, but uh, but as Sam says, we'll 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 get her done as quick as we can. And I want to commend the road department. I think we've got a good road foreman and a good crew out there. And uh, out of those 700 miles, I've got almost a third of them. Uh-oh. I bet they're going to the 5th District next. Where you want to bet? <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, you got to learn. You get more, you get more uh, flies with honey, huh? Uh, all right. Anything else, Sam? I mean, Jason, use up. Anything no, else? No, that was just the, the, you go ahead and use the yes. committee for that Fort and Spark extension. And I'll work on the paperwork. And, uh, okay. Joe. Uh, where are we at on getting the roads together on the list for the flex button? We haven't started. We just got our figure. Uh, Three hundred and seventeen thousand. Right now, we need y'all to look at roads and and nominate them. The only reason I haven't already got y'all on this, and be thinking about what you want, and we'll pass it out in the road committee meeting in a couple meetings. But I'm trying. I'm working on the governor's discretionary fund to get a road in Larry Morpheus district done. Which is, I tell you the truth about it, is as much money as all of this put together is for flex. If we can get it, it's going to make a big difference. Because if we don't, then we'll need to look at part of that road on uh, on uh, the is flex. The, uh, but if we get it all on the governor's discretionary fund, yeah. we don't have to do that road. You know, David, same, I think you're right. That honey does get a lot more. Is that the same governor's discretionary money that they ended up turning down in the first year? <laughs> on yes. Chinkle Chapel. Yes. 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 So the state, so, the state yes, is not going to do anything on shingle chapter. Not at this time. And, there any more on, uh, and yes, you should get for sure get a share of the flex this time, Joe. For sure. How about our, our road there by Young, Young's there? You were looking at getting blocked out. <laughs> How about the fifth? Well, David, I didn't get any flex money last year. Will I get any? No, if you get the discretionary money, that's as much as the all the flex for all the districts put together. We'll see, though. I'm going to let y'all talk about it. There's going to be a committee. I'm not, uh, but everybody look at what they got and they want done. We'll all get together and hash it out. Uh, I want to add, tell you something before we go on here. Next Wednesday at 8.30, Larry uh, Morphew, you've already got it down. The Safety Circuit Rider Program is coming here to our fiscal courtroom. They're going to serve donuts in the morning co and coffee and all that stuff. And then a light lunch. And, uh, they're going to talk to us about road safety. And they're going to give us... Beg your pardon? When is it? At Wednesday morning, the 21st, at, uh, at 8.30. And uh, Charlie, you got to be here that afternoon before for all the AV stuff. You know, the projectors and all that stuff. And they're going to give us $5,000 for signage on those two roads, for safety signage on uh, Rob Roy and um, Hoopy Hill. Uh, Speaking of Hoopy Hill, if the governor's turned you down on that discretionary money, that is money I told you that would be absolutely. well used on Hoopy Hill. Absolutely. We'll give it to him. That'll be our next one. <coughs> if he turns down that road, which I don't see how he could, because we got pictures of six-foot potholes in it. She's coming down. Uh, but anyway, uh, now, Larry. It's, you, it's up for you. What's that? You're, oh. You gang thing for the court. Well, I want to brag on the. No. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I do you appreciate were, what y'all do. I'm just cutting up. Go ahead. No, I'm good, sir. Yes. Well, we've talked some bad news, but we've got some good news. Tomorrow, I went, me and the Fort Chief and Charlie Shields went to Purdue in November and asked them for a $20,000 grant to buy equipment for the Cromwell Fire Department. We got to check two weeks ago, but they're presenting us tomorrow with a big, they're having a little ceremony. And that is going to fix Cromwell Fire Department up with their bunker gear. So, I want to thank Purdue for that. Good corporate citizen, aren't they? Right. Yes. And, uh, probably should have told us while ago when we come out of closed session, the county attorney is going to write Cambridge contracting a letter they done fixed a bridge 
on Clay Leach Road, but they uh, didn't complete the work. So we're going to try to get them to come back and fix it so the county don't have to. And the vocational school, a couple of them come to me and they're needing some funds. They, uh, state doesn't appropriate money to run at the classes for the material. And there's four programs have specific requests that total to some 12,600 and some dollars. And I've got it all listed, this is for equipment. The rest of the money would be used to purchase consumable supplies, lumber, building materials for class project, additional steel for welding and machine tool, combustible supplies for automotive classes as well as supplies for the electrical technician class. Given our large number of students and limited annual budget, the school would greatly appreciate a contribution a total of $25,000. I'd like to put that in the form of a motion. I'd like to second that, Larry, because I'm a big supporter of them, and I've, I thought we needed to uh, put funds in there before, but we were looking at a grant and that was something that changed. Right. Uh, yeah, he's, he's not here. They unfortunately did not work out. And so the unfortunate thing is, is uh, they didn't get the needed funds that they needed for their equipment. And uh, I'd like to see if we could help them. Yeah, uh, that's going to uh, that that drainage it put being put in again, but this time it's going to be put in in the name of the high school, and the high school funds things over there too, and the, and the. Uh, State people said that they would come a lot near giving the grant to the high school than they would have to, to the um, for the vocational school, for lack of a. Where's? I'd love to move. It's where we're going to get the money. That was my question. Where is that coming out of reserves? Is it reserves? Is it the reserves you're going to take it out of? Reserves are about reserves. Yeah, the reserves are about to get depleted. I think. Where do we get the money to give uh, Owensboro twenty-five thousand? College over there. I forgot the open house for that's coming up on February second, though. I see. That. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to give them that money. I wanted to give it to our local school. Our local schools getting in trouble, folks. We need to, if there's any way at all possible, we need to support them. I have no objection to it. Just I want to know where we're going to get the money. You can name reserves, or you can name LGEA reserves. So in your motion, you probably need to name it. We got a good while before we get to the next fiscal fiscal year. Yeah, we got several months. That's right. Do we have it in the LGEA? How much is in the LGEA reserves? There's, there's. That's where we took the emergency money and put in the LGEA yeah. reserves. Yeah, it's from the emergency money was put aside. That's where it was put. How much? Uh, would that leave us about 50 in it? Or? No more than that. But we use the regular reserves as well. I've got the list of the stuff here if anybody wants to look at it that they need. I'm oh, I don't, I don't I doubt. I have no doubt that's what they need. It's a worthwhile project. I just, I just, if you got to, uh, it's a long time before the end of the year, fiscal year. Larry, when do they need this for sure? Do you know exactly when they need this? Yeah, hell. Okay. I was wondering if we could just table. I want to look at that. I, and I see. imagine it was stuff that they were anticipating buying on this grant that kind of yeah. lingered and lingered and lingered. And because the well stuff was. Get it because uh, I've been told they're running. Well, this is materials that was going to be for equipment. My understanding is they used to could charge for like the projects they do, but they can't do that no more. Mm -hmm. They could charge a fee, but, but they can't. Uh, and he's got a hundred students in his carpenter class, and they go through a lot of lumber. I think it's a good thing because there's a lot of kids that go to that school and get training 
and they don't they don't get the option to go on to a trade school or they they go on and land a job from the welding that they learned in there or carpentry or electric and uh, they further get on a job training and end up and turn out to be some of our and it's all business people, people it's of the county from the training they got at the vocational school well, and, and <coughs> to become career ready we really want to, I mean this is it looked like to me, and, and our governor's been pushing this, looked like to me that should come under the educational end of it. So uh, that, that's what we're doing, educating guys uh, for welding, plumbing, whatever the case may be. It looked like it'd be an educational uh, issue. Yeah, it is. But the, the, the argument I would make for this is that we're trying to uh, make our place, our county more work ready uh, because we have a lot of businesses that look in this county right now We've got everything else that they need. We've got bill-ready pads. We've got uh, all the infrastructure we need for new business. It's all here. Uh, what we don't have is that workforce. So this would help develop is the workforce. What about helping them out of our discretionary? I'm going to use my discretionary. Uh, I get mine to the parks and the fire departments. Uh, since I've been on the court, the... Uh, Court don't fund the parks no more. I got three parks in my area. They used to get money from the court, but they don't no more. I'd love to give them some out of mine, but mine's already all spoken for. We, we're, we're not we're getting it. Uh, we're supposed to build a boat. The severance money that's been dropped, we don't get any more money. Do we say? And I just give uh, Horse Ranch Rosine twenty four thousand of my dwindling discretionary money for equipment and hey, we're not going to get much discretionary money probably. well we do have motions didn't last, uh, didn't last quarter but did we I, I think we're getting off a discussion on the motion Where that's on the, the floor the <laughs> it did come from the lga okay uh, let's go ahead and vote on well, it well wait, 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 wait a second i mean he he needs to amend the motion to indicate where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. because I don't think I, that's did you? Would you add that to your motion, Larry? Yes. And for the hand to write yes. the check, if you do. Agree. And would you? And would you add that second? Would you sec? Was you the seconder? No, I was Joe was. Okay, you second under those terms. Yeah. Okay. I'll go ahead and vote on the name. Small. By all means, I support them, and I'm going to go with an affirmative on this. But we need to, as Joe and Larry have both repeated many, many times. We've got to start putting the brakes on somewhere. And I don't believe it's here. I don't believe it's with our education. But we do need to take that into consideration. So I'm a yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Cowan? I really do believe this is the duty of the educational system instead of the fiscal court of our county. And considering our finances as they are, I have to vote no. Morphew? Yes. That motion carries. Do you have anything else to bring to the body? That's it. Justin? No, Judge, thanks. Uh, I'll remind you again of the uh, Safety Rider program uh, Wednesday, and I really do hope y'all can all come. Justin, this is the State Transportation Cabinet coming and doing it. I got one other thing for you. Yes, sir. Is there something we can do? Can we notify our state officials in some way, shape, or form as a court to address? Highway 136. Yes. Uh, they had another wreck there last night. Uh, I believe it was a Purdue truck. Uh, and it's dangerous. I know. 136 is dangerous. It's, it's a narrow road. 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 Please, it's in the plan and it's in the budget to do it. Is the mayor hurrying it up? Uh, if y'all would to approve a, a, make a motion to do a resolution to urge the state to move that up the list, uh, we will fire it off to them. And that would carry some motion. Motion to Sam Small. Well, I, I, I have to say I travel 136, but I travel 69 from Centertown and 69 to Forestville, and it's in bad shape too. So I don't know if I want to move the list, and move anything up the list until I see where things are ranked on the list. Do, do we have a second? No, don't what? No. To, to resolution to urge them to hurry up and fix 136. It's on the list to be fixed, but you we keep see, getting put off. the next meeting and have the list here. And we'll okay. Be good to look at. I can but bring I, that I to you. Drive out yep. Can we table it until the next meeting? I can put it on the, I can bring all that uh, 
road while thing too. Withdraw my motion uh, with anticipation, bring up the next meeting where we'll have a list. I'd like, I'd just like to see the list, see where it's going. And I don't, because I know I just think we need to just pick them somewhere and let them know what we've got. Does anybody in the general public have anything for the good of this body? <coughs> if not, this meeting is adjourned. We're out of here. Larry. Yes.